it's Monday morning, 8 o'clock, and I am headed from the house I'm sitting to go get some breakfast and then go to work. And I left extra early so that I'd have time to stop and get some food because I completely forgot to take breakfast food over with me last night. So I'm going to McDonald's, Ugh. <laughs> which is fine, whatever, it's nothing. And it's right near the like, it's right on the way I need to go, so it's not like I'm going out of my way to do it. So I think it's okay, but yeah, that's what's going on. I mean, I have some things I can talk about right now, so I'll get to that in a second. So I don't know if that little, like, buzzing or ringing sound will be on this recording, but I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Anyway, I'm at McDonald's. I'm gonna get my usual breakfast when I come here that egg white McMuffin and a mocha. And then I'm gonna head to work. Over the last couple of days, we've had some exciting wedding developments. Hold on, I'll tell you a second. Pull up for a second and get my sandwich out. Yum. Okay. Of course, this goes against what I've been trying to do lately, which is save my money and not buy random food. But this was kind of an unavoidable situation. I didn't want to go to a four hour shift without eating breakfast. So I had to do something. And if there was no breakfast food at the place, what was I supposed to do? I guess there was kind of breakfast food, but it was like, I just didn't want to make scrambled eggs. I didn't have that much time. I got up at 7, had to take care of all the animals, and then by the time I was done getting ready, it was like 8 o'clock then, which I did not have time to make a full meal like that before I had to leave. Okay. I had to like pause that, that whole time eating that sandwich because I didn't want to fill myself to it up. Back now, not quite to work yet. <sighs> but anyway, what I was saying before, like a, a while before, was that um, I got my dress, which is super exciting. It is exactly the right one. I just know um, I'm not like the kind of person who'd get emotional over a dress or any clothes, really. I mean, I was talking to mom about that the other day, and I was like, maybe when I got my first tall boots, I was really excited about that, but dress I didn't cry or anything I just after I put it on and wore it for a little bit I just knew that it was the right one and I was like I can see myself wearing this like this is what I'll wear it seems perfect so I went with it <laughs> oh, I should get me another one so that was that um, I think I mean I probably tried on between 15 and 20 dresses total over the span of three different shopping days and four different shops or I guess three different shops, because I went to one place twice. The place where I got my dress was the first place I also shopped, but it was also the last place. Mm. Anyway, it was really good. It was just a good experience. The girl who was helping me was great. Like, she knew what her job was, and she knew, it, like, exactly what to do. She knew, like, what I didn't even know I liked. She already knew it, and she found the dress. Like, the one that I picked, not to give too much away, John, don't watch this part, <laughs> So the one that I picked was just not what I had been expecting to pick. Like, I mean, it had a lot of the details. Actually, it had a lot of the things that I wanted, but it just was not, uh, it wasn't what I thought I was going to pick. It wasn't what I had gone in to pick. We had pulled it. She just went and found it after we had tried on something I had pulled and that everybody else who was there had pulled. So it was pretty cool that I got that done. So that was a good, exciting thing. Oh my gosh, I'm going by the high school and it's chaos because school's back in session. Oh my goodness, how am I going to get past this? I guess I'll just go past it. Anyway. But yeah, so I got the dress. It's very exciting. I mean, I don't have it in my possession yet. We ordered a new one. The one that I tried on actually fit me pretty much perfectly. We'll have to get like some tiny alterations. But I didn't want to buy the one that everybody had been trying on, especially since ordering a new one didn't cost any more, so, so yeah, that happened on Saturday, I guess, yeah, 
Saturday. Anyway, then yesterday we went to a uh, like a little bridal fair event. It was super small. It only had a couple um, like people from like a one. There's one florist. There's one cake place. There was just like one photographer. It was just a really small little thing, but it was fun to go to and see what was going on. And I didn't really get a lot of ideas. Got some good information about the cakes because we didn't know what we were gonna do about that. And I think we'll probably go with the person who was there. I'm not certain on that, but I feel like there's not a lot of other cake places around here. So we might do that. Um, probably won't go with the photographer that we met because she said she had like 31 appointments already this year which seems like a lot and <laughs> but I don't know uh, I was looking at photographer stuff last night and that is photographers are expensive I had no idea how expensive photographers would be and yeah that's something I want to spend like that's something where I don't mind spending a little more money but like super expensive when I was looking just online at prices like I went just search you know photographers and I was talking to that and like the cheapest one I found was a package that starts at eighteen hundred, which is crazy to me. That seems so expensive. I was not expecting photography to be so expensive, but we'll have to figure it out. I mean, if we have to spend a little more on that, that's fine because I've saved on my dress a little bit and I've had other people helping pay for the dress and then had people help pay for the venue, so I have to spend a little more on photography. At least I haven't spent a lot of my money on stuff yet. So we'll see. Um, we're meeting with someone who's going to help plan for us next week. And I think we'll talk to her because she knows about like a deal with a photographer where we can maybe do like a $1,500 package, which would be nice. And that would probably be, I mean, that's like the lowest price I've heard of. It's just like one of those like secret deals that she only knows because she's a wedding planner. So I don't know. <laughs> I might have had time to make breakfast at the house. Oh well. So anyway, that's, yeah. Wedding stuff, I just kind of got on a roll yesterday after we went to that event. I was like, I'm going to plan some stuff. I'm really going to get on top of things. And I did for the most part. Oh, it's probably going to be dark in here. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, I should have parked right there. Let's back up. No, I'm parking next to Um. <clears throat> Yeah, it's just gonna be a lot to do and I really got on top of it last night or at least I felt like I did I put together a wedding website it's not gonna go live yet because it's not actually done it's mostly done and um, I finally got it figured out where it works on desktop and mobile because mobile was being a little but <laughs> yesterday it was I was having problems but I got it so it all worked and so I just saved it and then I thought I'll just look at it later I'll show John see what he thinks but I kind of put it together with like the colors we were thinking and some pictures. We need to get some better pictures with, for that. But <sighs> so I did that. I researched all about photography, and I think that was mostly all I did about it so far. But I feel like I'm getting a lot done. So plus with having the dress and the venue, those are two really big things that I needed to get done. And now those are done, so that's good. And. Uh, Wedding stuff's going pretty well. I mean, we've only got six months, so we gotta get going on it, but I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Other than that, things have been pretty slow and quiet lately. I've been sitting, so I haven't been doing too much. Um, <clears throat> that's just how that is. I don't want to film out there very much, which I guess it wasn't time to vlog really, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's all I have to say this morning. I will check in. Well, one other thing I could say. Um, I was wanting to go ride today after work, but it's it's not cold. And it, honestly, it'll probably be like 45 or something after, and I'll be like, why didn't I bring my riding stuff? But I think I'm just going to go lunch him and then work on his feet, because his feet need to be worked on so badly. It's been, they are way overdue. <clears throat> so it would be better for me to spend my time um, working on his feet a little bit and um, maybe lunch him with the side reins. At least give him a workout like that instead of riding around. <laughs>
Ooh, and band is starting back up tonight, so that should be fun. And I'm really excited because it's not Christmas time anymore, which I love Christmas time. It's one of my favorite times of year, but um, I'm just ready for some non-Christmas music because was, it was just Christmas music, and Christmas music gets pretty boring, like, pretty fast. <laughs> Especially because a lot of the songs like Slayer I, I've played so many years in a row now. But it's just like, uh, it's fun to play like a couple times, but I'm ready to be moved on. So yeah. And this concert should be exciting because it's like called, it's called the magic of music or something like that. <clears throat> so the, I like, <laughs> I just hope we're playing some music from Harry Potter. That's all I can say about it. That's like, <laughs> that's all I want. Please give me some Harry Potter music. <sighs> I don't know if we'll get that, but that's what I'm hoping for. So we'll find out tonight probably. So I'll go to that. All right, I'm going to go so I can drink my coffee and listen to the radio and mentally prepare for a long-ish shift. All right, so new development. I just spilled my coffee all over my pants. <laughs> I'm so sad and I'm so annoyed because I was just thinking to myself, better be careful with this coffee, better not spill on myself. And then you know what happened a few minutes later? I did. Like... It's all over. You can't even see. It looks like I peed because it got on the seat too. It's just, ugh, it's awful. I'm so mad and sad. And luckily it's only 8.30. So I just called John and he's going to bring me some pants. But like, <laughs> why did this, did this happen? What did I do to deserve this today? I haven't done anything wrong. So I'm really sad about this. I'm sitting on napkins right now to try and like not get it in my butt anymore. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm just... This is my Monday. This is how my Monday is starting. I thought it was starting good, but maybe now it's really starting. Hello. I am back from my shift. It is 1 o'clock. And I am going to hurry up. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be trapped behind a UPS truck. Oh, I'll just sit here for a second. Maybe I can go run it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go run it real quick. <laughs> anyway, I am going to the barn real quick to get Navigator out and work on his feet because he really needs it and it's been way too long since I've worked on him so I'm gonna do that might lunge him but I might just work on his feet and then lunge or ride or something tomorrow or Wednesday because I'll have a lot of time on Wednesday so that's kind of the plan I don't know I just don't feel like I have a lot of time to ride right now. Um, I mean, technically the rest of my afternoon is free until like six-ish when I need to get ready for a band. Uh, but I think mom and I might go to the mall and go shopping a little bit because mm, Bath and Body Works say my annual sale is going on. And I know I've already gone. I don't think I talked about that. I went and stocked up on some of that Beach Night Summer Marshmallow lotion and spray that I love so much. Uh, but I think we're going to go and just look around because there's some soaps that she really likes that they were gone for a while, but some my annual sales when everything comes back out. So I figured we could go and take a little look and I could take a little look at the stuff they've got. I would, okay. So I wanted to find the body wash or the shower gel of that Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow stuff and they didn't have any and they didn't have any when we went to to the mall in St. Louis either so I feel like that's probably just means there isn't any left but I want to check again like what are the chances it would be out probably even less than before but I just want to check so take a look around see what's going on look at the candles I don't know we'll see but first things first I gotta go see navigator and work on his feet and then I gotta go let those dogs outside so they don't go to the bathroom in the house because I don't want to deal with that again. It's already happened twice. And one time was overnight and I let them out late and I got up pretty early so I don't know what the deal was with that. But the other time was even worse because I had just taken them outside and then I left them while I went to deal with the horses and when I came back in the house they had one of them had pooped. So whatever. Dogs. I need to go deal with them. That's what I'm trying to say. I need to go let them outside so they can go to the bathroom run around for a minute. And then I'll come back and mom and I can go and shop and maybe around 2.30. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Here he comes. 
definitely took his time making his way up here, but at least he's on his way, so I'll give him the treat that I brought. Gotta enjoy this field all we can. We're gonna, I think we're gonna lose, um, Mars gonna lose it pretty soon, like within this month or by the end, sadly. Hey there, oh my gosh, you are so dirty. You want this since you came to me? Good boy. But why are you such a mess? What have you been doing, laying in mud? Hmm? Oh my goodness. You're goofy looking. I have no more. Nope. No more. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab him. So I think I'll do his back feet first. Today I'll just do the backs because they shouldn't be as bad as his front. Which is, uh, that just sounds wrong. What I mean is the backs um, haven't been done as recently, but they don't wear, or they don't grow as quickly or something. I don't know. I think that would be easier to do today and then do the fronts next time. So I'm not going to do all of them on a day. Look how dirty you are. Oh my goodness. There's a keeper. This has been a bad vlog day. Like, I think I've just been in the car every time I've vlogged. Except Navigator. But every other time, I've just been in the car. <laughs> oh, oh well. And that's just the kind of day I'm having, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, I went with Mom to the mall. And I went to Bath and Body Works. And guess what they had? They had the body wash gel, shower gel of that beach bar. Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. They had like so much. And I was just like, um, what? I was not expecting this at all. Like I was so, I was just so surprised. I was just not expecting it because I haven't, haven't seen any so far. So I didn't buy any because I'm trying to save money and didn't just want to be like all crazy. But I'm going to go back tomorrow or Wednesday during the day, not not like evening time because it's too busy in the evening and this lighting is just magical, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'll go back in the morning one of these next couple days and I will take um, some lotion that I have to exchange that Robin gave me and that way hopefully, I mean, I feel like I should be able to exchange a lotion for a body wash. I think they're the same price. They are the same size, but if not, otherwise I'll just get some store credit and then buy one that way because that's what I want to do so that's the plan with that uh, so I will be getting a little bit more of it because it's my favorite and I, I'm kind of concerned that they're gonna get rid of it um, or like this is the end of it you know I don't know I don't know if it really is but mom said something about it a couple times not like she knows either but if they are getting rid of it and they're just trying to get rid of all their stock then I want to get some of it because I like it some more especially the body wash like it's a pretty light scent you can't really smell it too much after you clean yourself but you have to wash yourself when you're in the shower might as well use something that smells good and this one kind of hangs on for a little bit so I would be happy to have another one that's basically what I'm saying anyway right now it's 4 15 I am gonna go out to the house again and before I have to do that. I need to hang out with the dogs and I need to wash my pants that I got, <laughs> that I spilled on. Um, <laughs> because I can't just let them get, like I have to, I have to wash them. So I'm gonna wash those and I think I'll wash the sweater that I have there too because that way I'll have an outfit to wear for work tomorrow and I won't have to go over to the apartment at all, which wouldn't be that bad, but I kinda just wanna get out there really need to edit the Friday vlog and put that together. I don't think I even uploaded last Wednesday's vlog. Uploaded last Wednesday's vlog. I'm really behind on my vlog situation. I've kind of fallen off the horse with it and I need to get back on it because I was doing so well. Oh wow. 
light. But I was doing so well last year, like, I almost got six months of doing it pretty regularly and uploading pretty consistently. And I know, like, nobody's watching it except me, but uh, I want to continue it. I want to do it as much as I said I was going to, as much as I set out to, so I need to get back onto that. So maybe tonight I'll edit and upload. I could upload overnight. That'd probably be good. Good plan. Yeah, anyway, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go and I will check back in later, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Hello. I think I've said hello at the start of every clip of this vlog. <laughs> anyway, I'm back. I am backlit because once again, I don't want the window behind me in the vlog. <sighs> anyway, I am back at the house. I am about to eat some chili and some cornbread. I'm watching girls and then I'm going to go to bed. It's not that late, but it's late enough and I'm just kind of tired and ready to go get under the blankets. So that's the plan. So yeah, what's going on? I realize I haven't ended a vlog in a while, so I'm going to end it now. So thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.